Hello folks and welcome Linux Mint 22 XF CE desktop. This is beta. So I'm um, just getting around to doing this. I have another video for the cinnamon desktop on my YouTube channel filming in 1080 today. Welcome folks. Subscription key is in the corner. I'm going to first go through documentation and I'll go through uh, new notes and release notes also. Um, you will see that there will be uh, mixed information in here from the um, Cinnamon desktop also, but this is XFCE. So Linux Mint 22, codename Wilma, support until 2029. Language support, some newer updates, and, um, some more bells and whistles, um, better compatibility with hardware, modern hardware, because of the kernel version is 6.8. Down here is the shield and Linux kernels. 6.8.0.38 currently. All right. Sound server default is Pipewire. Some of the themes info updated to GDK4. Uh, JXL support for PIX and some high dots per inch support improvements. All right, I'm going to scroll over this fairly quickly. You can always uh, pause the video and reverse it in case you need to uh, pick up some of the stuff. I will be opening up Software Manager all by itself later. And uh, we'll talk a little bit about that. So the matrix tool was created using web apps. If you haven't seen any of my videos on that, I will open up that application a little bit later and talk just briefly about it. All right, here's some references to Cinnamon. We're not going to talk about Cinnamon because this is an XFCE desktop. Some other improvements. And I'm going to stop here at this bullet, XFCE, App Status Plugin, still work in progress as far as I understand because I can't resize these two icons. I can resize the rest of these. So I consider that still work in progress. And again, this is beta. Art improvements, I'll briefly show those. And some of the main components, again, 6.8 series kernel for the newer hardware stuff and support until 2029. So for you folks that are running this on laptops, if you're gonna install it, and where can you get Linux Mint 22 beta currently? I'll show you, um, I'll, we can, we can um, stop off at DistroWatch and I'll point that out in a second. But uh, more importantly, I'm gonna to touch base on some of the notes here for touchpads. My suggestion if you are running this uh, with a touchpad is to have a regular computer mouse if you have one, just available. Okay, but I wanted to make mention of that. So some of these are notes. And again, you can uh, back this video up in case I'm going too fast for you. All right, I'm going to close that. Again, filming in 1080. Subscription key is in the corner. Okay, let's start at the bottom here. We have uh, system stuff. Backup tool still uses TAR. Tape Archive. Your file manager, Thunar, also has TAR with compression or without. Driver manager, I'll come back to. All right. Let's uh, talk about three ways to install software. We can do Synaptic, Package Manager, Software Manager, or Terminal. So Software Manager has a new feature now. This is uh, Mint Install 8.3.2. Another name for that is Software Manager. In here is Preferences. This box is not currently found on Linux Mint 21.3. So slightly different. Okay, you may want to be aware that that's turned off. All right, this is a little bit zippier when it launches. At least I hope it stays that way. And now I'm going to open up Synaptic Package Manager and give you a package count. I'll also talk about sources and also if you need to change those sources. 73,907 packages are currently listed. This is an installed copy. Okay. 
Where's the stuff coming from? Currently Mint and Ubuntu. You can also change the mirrors. Allow this to clock for about 20-30 seconds and maybe you want to pick the highest speed and hit apply. Once you do, you'll need to update your cache and that's not a big thing. Just click it and allow it to do its thing. You can also do that with the base packages. Here, here's an example of that. Okay, this will take a second to start clocking. And you can see the speed changes. I'm not gonna leave this. I'm gonna close it. And you can always do the restore default, which is these two. All right, 73,907. I'm sure you can find a thing or two in there. So again, three ways to install software. Software Manager, Synaptic Package Manager, or Terminal. All right, so in these menus, I also, if you are gonna install Linux Mint 22 Beta, is to use TimeShift. Uh, stuff breaks on betas. And sometimes it's just a nice convenient tool to, well, try to fix it. The TimeShift is also found on your installation media. All right, let me move on now. Settings I'll come back to. LibreOffice is uh, the latest version. It's uh, 24.2 something something. Okay, multimedia, I added simple screen, the rest of it you get. All right, web apps. A lot of people are not familiar with this tool. When you open up web apps on Linux Mint 21.3, it will be blank. That's why I make videos regard regarding a lot of this material. I have almost 400 on my YouTube site and you will find multiple videos on web apps. So Linux Mint created that and it goes to their website, Matrix. What is Matrix? It's an online chat. If you wanted to make additional icons, they're pretty simple. You can normally just fill in the blank and in 20 seconds, you can do one to Amazon or Facebook or whatever. I also show uh, videos, I think I have two of them, how to make web-based icons to your home router. In other words, it doesn't exist on the internet, but your home router, why would you want an icon to your home router? Well, uh, do you check the firmware once a month? You should. You can also log into your router to change the passwords, activate guest networks, do router maintenance. A lot of people don't think about those things, but you should at least check your firmware once a month, considering all the stuff that's going on in the world today. Web apps is a wonderful tool for creating web-based icons and also for your home router. Now I'm going to move on. Web apps can be found on all of the Linux Mint products. It's not, it's a tool that's built in to not only their cinnamon desktops, but also XFCE and Mate. I'm going to move on. Graphics, accessories. You still got some nice tools at the bottom down here. Image writer, stick formatter, and warpinator. If you decide to use a file sharing with warpinator with your firewall on, make sure that you uh, go into the setting right here and you import those firewall rules. If you don't do that, things will not work too well. Okay. More importantly, Warpinator for file sharing. I'm turning it off. All right, um, settings. Let's cover up a couple of things here. Let me first talk about wallpapers. Okay, these are your standard ones that Mint gives you. You can certainly use your own photographs for your backgrounds. All right, appearance. I'm not using the standard one, okay? But I am using something that's already on here by default. I didn't add any themes. So Mint Y is what I'm currently using. Gives it that bright green tone. Mint Y Sand. Okay. Couple of things um, of interest. Again, I'm filming in 1080. Is scaling. Different screen res depending on your monitor. All right, mouse and touchpad, different kind of cursors or pointers. On some Linux distributions, you only get two for the XFCE desktop. So driver manager is available on this distribution. 
uh, Linux, the only one that you won't find driver manager is the LMDE, Linux Mint Debian Edition, currently version 6. So if you are wanting to update or um, change your driver, video driver from the open source to your proprietary, if you're using an NVIDIA card, for instance, um, then you can go with the recommended or if you have other options. This process is usually about five, 10 minutes. Again, here's your firewall. It comes turned off by default. So uh, UFW, GUFW, whatever name you want to give it. Um, here it is. So this firewall normally comes turned off. If you turn it on, it is set to deny everything. All right, so if you are doing file sharing with Warpinator, you need to import those rules. These rules came from Warpinator. You don't have to write them. The Warpinator application will import them. And it's important when you have two computers with Warpinator running, let's just take two Linux Mint computers because Warpinator is available on all their products. Um, you make sure that you import the rules if you're using firewalls. Otherwise, things don't work too well. Moving along. So again, driver manager is found on this distribution also. The Linux kernels are found underneath this shield through here. LMDE6 does not have this. Linux Mint Debian Edition. You will find this on Cinnamon and also on XFCE, just to name two. Okay, let me go through this um, in here. I talked about some of these things, the like image writer, stick formatter, simple tools to use. Again, Warpinator with a firewall, you want to import the rules from here into your firewall. All right. Web apps, again, if you wanted to create your own web-based icons, go check some of my videos out if you want a full explanation how to do that. New version of LibreOffice. And... Um, I talked about most of the settings in here already. Backups are important. If you are going to be using this beta to do personal stuff, uh, just keep in mind it's still beta. So always back up your personal files. And I would also use uh, Time Shift to uh, do your system restore stuff. And Time Shift is found on your installation media also. All right, um, one more thing. If you want this beta copy, um, I'm just going to use DistroWatch for convenience. You can also find DistroWatch as a link on my YouTube site. Okay, I'm going to leave the commercials. I'm not going to bother turning any tools on. I'm just pointing uh, down here where it says on 7.1, a development release for beta was occurred. And you can find the actual beta copies right here. Here is Cinnamon. This one is XFCE and this is Mate. I haven't done a video on Mate, uh, but I did do one on Cinnamon. Uh, I think it was on the same day as a matter of fact. So that was uh, about 10 days ago. Or no, more than that, sorry, 16 days ago. Well, in either case, if you'd like the beta copy, there, there's a quick link for that. And uh, also, um, you have, again, the SHA-256 and signature list also sitting there. Thank you for watching.